All right, so we're set up here at our little nook of Sombrero Beach. Hey YouTube, it's Stephanie. Um, today I am hijacking Glenn's channel for a minute and I wanted to bring you guys a video about our trip to the Florida Keys. So um, today we are heading to Sombrero Beach and I wanted to give you some of the tips we've learned over the past few years about visiting that particular location. Um, first of all, we are currently staying here at uh, Fiesta Key RV Resort, which is located at mile marker 70 along um, Highway 1, which is the road that runs north to south through the Keys. Sombrero Beach is about at mile marker 50-ish. It is pretty much directly at mile marker number 50. Um, it's located in Marathon, so we're gonna head that way and um, take you along for the ride. Okay, so to get to the beach, we are riding in our 1989 Bronco 2, and um, there is enough room for all five of us and we just roll the windows down and cruise down the highway. It's a beautiful day, um, and we're gonna do our best not to get sunburned. Okay, so we are leaving the RV resort right now. Um, like I said, we are staying at Fiesta Key RV Resort, which is located at mile marker 70. So there's one road into the Keys from the Homestead, Miami, Florida area. That road is Highway 1, um, and you can tell directions on that road by the mile markers. So all the way down at the very bottom of the Keys is Key West, and that is where you will find the famous mile marker zero road sign. And from there, the mile markers count up all the way up to the last key, which is Key Largo. So Marathon is um, where we are headed to go to one of the public beaches in the Keys. It's probably one of the mo more popular beaches called Sombrero Beach. And it is um, located roughly at mile marker um, 50. So we've got about 20 miles south to head to get there. And I will let you guys see some of the sights along the way. the mile marker 50 road sign so this um, beach if you're trying to find it um, there's not a lot of huge signs um, letting you know where to turn but you do turn onto Sombrero Beach Road and it is pretty much directly at mile marker number 50 in Marathon. Okay so you turn onto Sombrero Beach Road and the beach is about two miles out this little street. Um, one reason we really like coming to Sombrero Beach is the, the Keys are not really known as being super family friendly. Um, everything here is generally pretty expensive and um, they the Keys are definitely not known for their beaches. It's really hard to find a good um, beach like what we were used to. Um, growing up we always visited the East Coast beaches like Myrtle Beach, Virginia Beach, so we're used to that kind of experience. So if you want that here in the Keys, you kind of have to go looking for it. But Sombrero Beach checks off all those boxes for us. It's a beautiful area, very family friendly with a huge playground that's shaded um, and it's completely free. Uh, the worst thing that we have found uh, when visiting this area is 
parking. Um, they have limited parking, and depending on what time of, time of day you come, you may have trouble finding a spot. So um, that's one we, reason why we started bringing this little Bronco, because um, it's easy to park, it's easy to maneuver, and um, we'll see what we get into when we get to the beach today. If we have to drive around for a little bit, waiting for someone to leave, or if we can just um, pull right in. But when we get there, I will show you guys what the parking looks like. Here is the parking situation today. There are lots of spots available. Um, sometimes this area is completely full and you have to drive around to try to find a spot. But today we are pretty lucky. So we're gonna get parked here and head out to the ocean. So we're set up here at our little nook of Sombrero Beach. I'll take you guys over and get a view of the entire beach area. to go back to the campground. Did you guys have fun today? Yep. Alright, so see you next time. See you next time.